Welcome our students at Ruaha International School, National Division, Prepon, Science Department. Now we are going to talk about Unit 2, Force and Motion. Let's start with Lesson 1, Fundamental Forces in Nature. What's meant by force? Before answering this question, we have to know and to ask ourselves some question and try to solve it together. If we put a book on the table, it will remain static as long as no one moves it, right? If we put a book on the table, it will not change the place. It remains as it is. Why? Because there is no force acting on it. So, everything remains static at its place. Static means at rest, remains as its place, and there is no force acting on it. Okay, another example. If we try to move static pole when you kick it with your foot, it will move, right? Its states change from static state to motion state. Statics means at rest. The ball will move. The ball first were, were all static and stable. When you kick it with your foot, the ball will move. Why? Because there is a force acting on it. So, when we are going to talk about the meaning of force, what I mean by the word force, force it is an effect that change the object phase from being static to motion or from motion to static. So, force is an effect that change the object phase. If it is at rest, it will move, or if it move, we can stop it. Or even for changing the, its direction, like the examples that we said before about the ball when we kick this ball by our foot. The measuring unit of force is Newton. The measuring unit is Newton. Here is some examples that we, we are talking about from a few seconds. When we put a book on the table, it's static because there is no force acting on it. When you kick a static ball, it moves because a proper force acts on it. Okay, let's, we want to ask ourselves some question. Can we push a wall by our hand? No. But at the same time, we making effort, we making force act on it, but the wall will not move from its place. Why? Because there is force, but this force that acting on it is improper force. Improper means incorrect, unsuitable, unsuitable force. Okay. Now we are going to talk about fundamental forces in nature. What I mean by the word fundamental, fundamental means basic. Fundamental forces in nature, the word fundamental means basic. Okay, the basic forces in nature. There are some forces, we can't see it by our eyes, but we can feel the effect of it. For example, when we bring a magnet and put it near a magnetic substance, what will happen? The magnet will attract this magnetic substance. Can we see the magnetic field or the magnetic force? Of course not, but we can see its effect by attracting the magnetic material to the magnet. So, there are some forces that can't be seen, but we can feel them. For example, lightning and thunder, wind motion, the gravitational object to Earth, and the attraction of iron to magnet. All these are examples on forces that we can't see by our eye, but we can feel them. Feel them how? By showing the effect, what happened after. Also, there are forces causing technological application <coughs> and make a great, great, great technology. Uses in many devices and many applications in our houses. For example, generating the electric current. All of us know the importance of electricity, even in our homes. Most of instruments are operating with electricity. So generating the electric current is from the forces that causing technological application. <clears throat> and by the way, please keep in your mind that in some exams, he asks you about complete. Give me an example on some fundamental forces in nature. And sometimes ask another question. Give me examples on forces causing technological application, such as generating the electric current, fire, weapons, nuclear explosions, and nuclear reactor. 
all these examples on how to use forces that causing technological application. Okay, now we're going to talk about fundamental forces in nature, three examples, but we are going to describe them in full, full details. So please pay attention. We have three forces this year. We're going to describe each one in full details. Number one, we are going to talk about gravitational forces, electromagnetic forces, and the last one, nuclear force. Gravitational force. What I mean by the word gravitational force? Let us see what's meant by gravitational force. Before answering this question, all of us know the scientist is Hawk Newton, who is who was the first one who discovered the Earth's gravitational force. The first scientist who discovered the Earth's gravitational forces is Ishaq Newton. Uh, I think all of you know the story that Ishaq Newton was standing down tree and a pole falling down on him. And he think many times, why is this apple full from the tree? Again, there is a story for Ishaq Newton how he discovered the Earth's gravitational force. He was standing under a tree and an apple fell down on him. So, Earth's gravity forces to object is, all of us know that the Earth attracts all objects to its center. You know, this is the Earth. All objects around the Earth surfs are attracted towards its center. This means the center of the Earth acts like a magnet. The center of the Earth acts like a magnet which attracts all objects. All of you know that we are living on the surface of the Earth. So all objects are attracted towards its center. So what I mean by the object weight? It is the ability of Earth to attract the object to its center. This means it is the object's weight. If the ability to attract of the earth to attract all the objects to its center is called object's weight. And we can calculate this weight from this relation. Do you remember in primary six we talked about this point? And as we said in primary six that the weight equal mass times ten. Do you remember? In primary six we talk that weight equal mass times ten. In this year we have the same relation, weight equal mass, but time the acceleration of gravity. The number 10 means the gravity of the Earth. The accurate number for the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. So in primary six, we calculated it as 10, but in prep one, we must know that the accurate number is 9.8. This is the acceleration of gravity. Okay, now all of you think, that, okay, well, what about the problems? How, how can I calculate it? Okay, we'll calculate it by times 10 or times 9.8. It depends on the given in the problem. If in the given, he states that the acceleration of gravity equals 9.8, so we must calculate it, and we have to calculate it as a 9.8. If not, we can create it as 10. Okay, the weight, unit of the weight is Newton. The unit of the mass is kilogram, and the unit of acceleration of gravity is meter per second square. Also, as we said before, that the mass of the object is a fixed value. So the mass of the object doesn't change anyway around the Earth. It's a fixed value. But the weight changes from a place to another. Why? According to changing the acceleration of gravity of the Earth. How is the acceleration of gravity of the Earth different from a place to another? Yes. How? 